file sharing and collaboration within Office 365 and things like OneDrive and also SharePoint document libraries is changing, it's getting enhanced. On the May 4th event, Microsoft announced a bunch of changes and enhancements to that point. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all the different things that they announced. A question that comes to mind to many people is, should I save my documents in a OneDrive for Business location like this, or should I save it in a SharePoint document library? Well, OneDrive for Business, of course, is kind of like your My Documents folder in the cloud. And you save it there, you can share it with people, uh, individuals. But obviously, if you wanted to have workflows on your documents, if you wanted to get more feedback on documents, have it easily discovered, etc., then you would put it into a document library. The problem has been, how do you take documents from OneDrive to SharePoint? So now there's going to be an easy way. In this case, for example, right, right here, where you can select a document, or like this one, and then you can say, all right, I want to send it to a particular location, and that location could be on a site directly within a SharePoint document library. You have possibly already seen this interface where this box comes up inviting you to check out what the document libraries of the future will look like. And if you click on it, this is in SharePoint Online document library, the document library now looks very much like OneDrive. In fact, it looks almost exactly like OneDrive. Now, it's going to have metadata workflow and custom lists support in the future as well. And if companies or individuals really wanted to, they could also return back to classic SharePoint. But this is the way the future document libraries are going to look like. The reason Microsoft is going this direction is because this interface in OneDrive has been extremely popular among people for easier usage than the current document libraries are the way they are. However, if some functionality is not working, or if you want to go back to the older interface, you can click on the Return to Classic SharePoint, and that will bring you back to the document libraries the way they look today. You can use the iOS OneDrive app, the one that I'm showing over here, to actually go ahead and access Office 365 SharePoint documents or OneDrive for Business documents. So both of them could be accessed directly like this. You go to your sites and then you can access the documents directly there. So this way you can edit, you can share, you can take offline any of your documents directly in the iOS app. This is the OneDrive Android app. And currently if you get that even today, you'll see a new view that's going to be there. It's called the Discover View. The Discover View in the app, in the Android app specifically, is kind of like the Delve View. So just like Delve, it will discover automatically the documents that are relevant to you as an individual, meaning things that uh, from people who report to you or from the people who you report to, uh, the documents related to them, the topics and the subject areas that are related to you, all of them automatically would come down and it will show in the discovery view, the discover view. The same discover view is also going to be available directly in the browser as well. So right here, as you can see, the discover view is right there and it shows all the documents relevant to me if I'm signed in right now. A new analytics feature is coming, still being worked on right now. But what that's going to do online, in the browser, and also in the SharePoint app is it will show exactly how your document is doing. So what type of shares have happened, how many views have happened. It will show all that stuff directly to you for your view as to what kind of impact have you had. This is only available in SharePoint, so if you move your document from OneDrive to SharePoint, then you can see the analytics of exactly how things are happening, what kind of impact you're making. This feature is supposed to come to the mobile apps before the end of this year, 2016. Things will continue to evolve in the SharePoint Online and Office 65 in general, but hopefully this video gave you a quick overview of how things are looking at this point right now, as announced in the May 4th event by Microsoft.